Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Here I will show you how to connect your app with Firebase OTP. Well, this is our app, and of course, this app comes with a notification. And uh, we want to connect this app with Firebase OTP. Now, for logging in, we use this OTP. First thing you have to do, you have to go over to the Firebase console and create a Firebase app. So this is the Firebase app that I have created. Now, the next step is we need to connect this Firebase project with our app. Now, I'm going to use a CLI to do it. So here, I'm in the terminal. And in the terminal, I'll go back to my root directory. I do clear. So this is my root directory. And over here, I'll run flutter fire configure. Now, it's going to pull up all the projects from Firebase. All right, so these are a list of my project that's available currently on Firebase. Now, I'm going to connect with one of the apps that we have seen earlier. Now, it should be the one that we have at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. So this is the app that we want to, this is the project actually, we want to connect with this Riverpod app. Now, I'm going to hit Enter and it's going to register for ios android and most probably web projects as well and it wants to override some of the behavior because this app i have previously connected with firebase so it wants to override them then i'm gonna say yes most probably you will not say this message all right, yes, yes, and yes. All right, so all of them are yes. Okay, done. Because we just overrode a lot of the default and earlier behaviors. Now with this, our app is connected with Firebase and it would be able to verify that from here. Like for example, if you open up your Android project over here. Now, if you go inside this, Go inside this app and over here you do see that Google JSON services dot JSON and over here we do see that so our project name and this is the Firebase uh, storage bucket and this is the Firebase project ID which we have seen earlier. Anyway, so the next step is to go over to Firebase console one more time. Now I'm going to select this and we'll see that it already created some apps. This is for Android, this is for iOS and uh, well it does look like this, this also created one for Mac but we don't need this anyway. Now one of the next thing we have to do we have to head over to the build section over here and we have to select authentication but actually I have already done it and if you have done it you will see it at the top okay so because I have already connected it. Next, you need to select one of the sign-in method. And actually, I've already done it. If you haven't done it, you need to click on this add new provider, and then you're gonna connect the phone over here, okay? Because I have already done it, so it marked over here. And after doing it, you might have to enable this phone service over here. And then as well as you have to put some default phone numbers for testing so these are the phone numbers well this is the default phone number so you can just go ahead and put and give it a verification code and go ahead and save it yes so that's as simple as that one all right so after this we're going to come over here and uh, we are going to try the app right now so i'm going to restart it okay all right and then over here well we do see that over here it says that it already exists so well you might not have this one i'm going to head over to this section over here and i'm going to comment it out and in this case the error should be gone if you don't have this error you can just skip that you don't have to do anything like this now I'm going to skip this. Now it says login with phone number. Now because I'm in China, I'm going to select a Chinese phone number. So here I'm going to do search. 
and then I'm going to type in my phone number and then it would send me the code before it sends the code it wants to verify who you are so that you are not a spammer So as you can see that over here, it says, well, it generated a secret ID. Actually, this is coming from Firebase itself. And it also sent me this uh, OTP. So what I could do, I could just simply go ahead and log in and uh, it should work. 07. Uh, let me do it correctly. I think I have a typo. 1307. And yes, we are done logging. And so yes, so that's pretty much it. That's how you connect your app to Firebase OTP.